वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो ऑन सेटिंग अप योर जीरोधा एपीआई इकोसिस्टम फर्स्ट ओपन योर ब्राउजर एंड गो टू डेवलपर्स डॉट काइट डॉट ट्रेड दिस इज जीरोधाज वेबसाइट टू हेल्प यू सेटअप अ डेवलपर्स अकाउंट वंस योर देयर लुक फॉर द साइन अप ऑप्शन एंड क्लिक इट फिल इन ऑल द नेसेसरी फील्ड फॉर साइनिंग अप After completing the sign up process, you'll now need to log in using your username and password. After logging in, you'll see your developer dashboard. Here, we need to create a new app. This new app will help you connect your Zerodha trading account with your developer account. Now, a small but important choice, you'll see different app types. In personal, you can check your portfolio details. In publisher, you can embed buttons for order placement only publisher and personal apps are free but don't give you data access if you want to get access to data and build something to automate trades you'll want to select connect one quick note for connect apps you need to have at least 500 zerodha credits in your account you can usually see these credits in your kite account if you don't have enough you might need to add them first by going to the billing tab You can either add credits by connecting your Zerodha account or use the payment gateway and pay by using any of the given payment methods as shown on the screen. Next, you'll fill in some basic details for your app. App name. You can give this app a simple name like My First Automator or Algo Trader. Client ID. Here, you need to add the client ID associated with your account. Double check your client ID for accuracy as no verification is performed during entry and incorrect IDs may lead to errors. Redirect URL. The redirect URL must be a valid and accessible URL. This is used by Zerodha to send information at the time of login. For basic testing, you can often use local host. Postback URL. This is a URL where Zerodha can send real-time updates about your order statuses. This field is optional so you can choose to leave it blank app description just a line or two about what your app will do once all the details are in click create app you will then see a pop up to confirm that you understand that this app creation will use 500 credits all you need to do is type in i understand and just like that you're done you can now view your app and find your api key and api secret on the right side these are like your app's unique username and password keep them safe don't share them with anyone so that's how easy it is to get your zerodha developer account up and running and grab your api key and secret this is a starting point for anything you want to build to start automating trades a program first needs to have full access to your zerodha account this is called authentication we need to do this step manually and on each day this is important so that you have complete control on how your account is accessed let's go through the steps to set this up first you need two things your zerodha account with the kite connect api subscription and python installed on your system we will use the kite connect library which simplifies the code we need to write If you don't have it, run this command in your terminal or in the notebook to install it. How does the login work? It's a four-step process. First, you need to enter the API key and API secret. Then you need to log in to your Zerodha account using a URL which has the API key. After you log in, you will get a request token. You use this request token. along with the api secret to get the access token we did this whole process to get the access token an access token is like a master key it remains valid for a day it can be used for various requests like getting account details to placing orders let's go through each of these steps in detail first you enter your api key and api secret You can get this from your developer account which we had created in the previous video. Then we use the API key 
टू क्रिएट द लॉग इन यू आर एल दिस यू आर एल इज जेनरेटेड बाय अपेंडिंग द एपीआई की एट द एंड वंस यू क्लिक ऑन दिस यू आर एल यू विल नीड टू लॉग इन मैन्युअली इन टू योर जीरो द अकाउंट मेक श्योर यू यूज द सेम अकाउंट विच यू हैड स्पेसिफाइड वाइल क्रिएटिंग द एप इन द जीरो द डेवलपर अकाउंट दिस वुड बी अ टू स्टेप ऑथेंटिकेशन प्रोसेस first you need to enter your password and then a verification code to log in to your account this verification code is part of the mandatory totp based login method and should be enabled after you have successfully verified you will get a temporary request token in the url this request token lasts for only a couple of minutes and should not be requested more than once you can copy the request token from the url and come back to the notebook here you will use this request token and api secret to get an access token this access token works for the entire day this means you can make multiple requests in a day using the same access token but for the next day you have to follow these steps again to generate the access token let us now summarize the whole process First you use your API key to create the login URL. Then go to the login URL and complete the two step verification, sign in to your Zerida account. Then get the temporary request token from the URL and finally use the request token and API secret to get the access token. You have now learned the authentication process. As you know, the access token generated from the login process remains valid for the entire day this means you don't need to repeat the login steps multiple times once you have it first we import the kite connect library and initialize the kite connect client with your api key even if we are reusing an access token the api key is essential for initializing kite connect the api secret is also needed in case the stored access token is invalid and a fresh login is required the key to reusing your access token is to save it after it's generated we store it in a local file for example access token.txt the next time your script runs it first checks if this file exists and contains a token if a token is found it attempts to use it if the api call fails because the token is invalid or expired the script will fall back to the manual login process once a valid access token is set we can fetch your basic account details using the kite.profile method this will display information such as your user id user type email id and the exchanges and products you have access to beyond your profile you can also fetch your funds and margin data using the kite.margins method in this python code we fetch the details for the equity segment and then transform this data into a user friendly pandas data frame for easy viewing in a tabular format finally it's good practice to log out when you're done with your session logging out invalidates the current access token and ends the active api session this is crucial for security especially if others might gain access to your environment and it helps manage active sessions on the kite api server after logging out any further api calls will fail and you'll need to go through the login process again to generate a new access token you have now successfully navigated the kite connect authentication process learned to reuse access tokens fetch account and funds data and securely log out